Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Wednesday, November 10th, 2021, and my name is Jennifer Cotton. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas, which means I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, gift packaging, and much more with stamps, ink, paper, and lots of cool tools. So if you're new to me and you've never seen these videos before, welcome and thank you for watching. And you're going to see how easy it is to make a greeting card that anyone can do it. You don't need talent. Hey, Shannon, you don't need skills. You don't need to be crafty. Anyone can do this. And I um, have been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for almost 20 years now. November 20th is my 20 year anniversary. Hey, Hannah. Hello. Hello. Hey, Pat. Hey, Stella. November 20th is 20 years. So, um, I definitely can show you how to make your own projects. And I started out 20 years ago not knowing one thing about even how to measure a card, much less how to do art. Um, but the company I represent, Stampin' Up! does all the art for us. They do the hard work. They have the colors that come that coordinate I started to say combine <laughs> um, and so on so it's awesome so thank you guys for watching I'm gonna try to find the video here on my iPad and uh, it's not giving me the video today of course so <laughs> um, that helps me see the comments better as well as you know if I'm in the screen there it is etc so okay um, hey, April. Hey, Cindy. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Pat. Linda Mansky. Good morning. And Mansfield. Janet. Hello, Janet. Um, Catherine, you're here. Yay, yay. Look at you. Sandy. Oh, thank you, Sandy. She said she's learned a lot. Jackie. Good morning. Hey, Landa. Good morning. Hey, Marsha. Good to see you here. Awesome. Okay, so, um, the reason, well, I don't know if that's the only reason, but the reason everybody is commenting and saying hi is so they can have a chance to win the three cards I'm going to make today. So I'm going to use the Peaceful Deer Bundle. Um, and I have used this bundle on another video, but I made um, some gift packaging and a tag and I think one card. And I used celebration items, which are no longer available. So today we're using current merchandise that is available with Peaceful Deer Bundle, which includes a punch, but the punch is in a box. So I'm going to explain all that when I get to the stamping, like why I don't have it out right now. Um, anyway, so say hi as you come on. If you're watching this on replay, say hi. You'll get a chance to be, you will be entered for a chance to win these cards today. Plus, it helps my business. I do this as a full-time job, so thank you, thank you just for saying hi. Clicking a heart, clicking a thumbs up, a laughy face, whatever. Um, all that helps my business. And then, even better, if you share the video, click that share button and post it in your feed, post it in a group, post it or send it to a friend through Messenger. That helps me as well. But you'll want to comment that you shared because Facebook keeps that private. Hey, Rhonda. Good to see you. Cheryl in East Tennessee. Hello, hello. Um, trying to catch up here. Oh, Janet in New Mexico. Hello. Hey, Sharon. Good morning in Ohio. Uh, Stephanie in Ontario, Canada. Awesome. My friend Genevieve lives in Canada. She's a demonstrator as well. Okay, so... Um, today, I said that already, I'm going to make three cards with Peaceful Deer. I do want to mention, if you're watching this recording on YouTube, then you also can be entered in the drawings there as well. Comment on the video um, on YouTube, give a thumbs up, and or subscribe to my channel. And then feel free to hit that notification bell, which tells you when I upload a video, which currently is every week on um Thursday normally after my Facebook Live. Okay, so um, I want to remind you that the best special ever is going on right now through November 30th only. Anyone can get our starter kit and join my awesome team of Stampin' Up! demonstrators for $75. The price is discounted, but you still get $125 in merchandise of your choice. 
And then you might be like, but I don't want to be a demonstrator. You don't have to be a demonstrator. It's a word that is tied to buying the starter kit, but it doesn't mean you have to sell or place orders or get your discount. You don't have to get your discount um, or take part in my team activities or my team Facebook group, but you can, but no, you don't have to do any of that stuff. Hey, Nina, good morning. Hey, Chris in Iowa. Oh, I was saying, I hope I'm saying your name right. I can't talk. Um, hey, Stephanie. Oh, I said hi to you, Stephanie. Margie is who I missed. Hey, Margie. Um, and Julie, good morning. I'm good, glad to see everybody because this is not my normal day. I usually go live on Thursday. Um, but if you're new, maybe you'll come back next Thursday. And the reason I'm going live today is because there is a Stampin' Up! event tomorrow. It's virtual due to COVID. But my team... Many of us are gathering together in uh, in local here and at a hotel where we will be watching this virtual event together. We can participate. We can learn together. We can learn new stamping tips, etc. And we get to see the new catalog tomorrow night. <laughs> Two new catalogs we get to see tomorrow night. So that was back to the kit special I'm talking about. There are lots of perks if you get that kit for $75. Like, it is a no-brainer. Are you going to place an order... So it's gonna be 75 plus tax. Let me get the calculator. Um, and it depends on where you live. If there's no sales tax where you live, then you don't have that. But here in Texas, we have eight point, here where I live, 8.25%. So that'll be 619 plus 75. So it'll be about $81. If you're gonna place an order with me, uh, 81, I think that's gonna be about seven, no, 65. 7150. I'm doing math on live camera. Now, what did I say? 65. If you're going to place an order of 65 to $70, you're going to pay the same price as this kit, but you're only going to get 65 to $70 in merchandise instead of 125 plus a free past paper pumpkin. They're just going to throw one in your box. Plus, then you could get a discount, a minimum 20% if you want. And you'll be on my team, which is an amazing team of um, about 200 demonstrators all over the U.S. Um, we have our team Facebook group. We have challenges. I have prizes. I, I do a lot of stuff with the team. But all of that's optional. Um, I just had someone ask me today, if I join, can I still take your classes? Of course. <laughs> Um, most of my class, not most, but a huge percentage of my class attendees and takers are demonstrators on my team and not on my team. So anyone can take my events. You're not restricted from that. Mary, hello. Mary's one of my friends, demonstrators, class attendees. Um, lots of people in this group are, hey, Lori, good to see you. Hey, Mary, hello, hello. I got stuck on hello, hello today. <laughs> Joni, good morning. Uh, Julie was wondering about me being live today. Um, hey, Teresa in Ohio. So, yeah. So, if y'all have any questions about that kit. Hey, Peggy. Peggy's on the team also. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know. You will get to see the two new catalogs that come out in January. November 15th, I believe, is the date. So, that's a perk right there. Just to get to see them. And then you get to order from them in December. And we get a free gift with every 50 and 100 spent in December instead of January like customers. So we get everything early. We get to order before. Um, we get to order before back orders most of the time. Um, oh, that's right, Stella. She says, take, I was trying to comprehend what you said. Taking your classes teaches us as demonstrators. Yes, if you do want to do a business, Take a, and you're taking a class from me, you can see how I run it. Hey, Betsy, good morning. Lots of team members watching right now. And not everyone, I'd say 90% of the 200, just get their discount. So, all right. Um, oh, and speaking of the meeting, so uh, my team, I should say, we do a monthly team meeting, which is optional. It's streamed on Facebook, and it's in person here in Texas. And so I have my swaps from this month's meeting. So first of all, before the swaps, um, Shannon did a stamping demonstration at our meeting. And check out this card. I have this pulled out on purpose that she showed us. So this is A, a gift card holder. B, a fancy fold. Wait till I open it. 
boom. <laughs> so it can stand up on someone's table. We talked about putting photos, even um, a gift card here or a photo here or both in this little pocket. So anyway, Shannon gave us step-by-step -step instructions and a tutorial. That's a team perk. You get to be take advantage of that if you're in the team. And then you can participate in our monthly card swaps if you like, totally optional. As you can tell, out of 200 people on the team, this is how many swaps we had this month. The number varies. So this was our swap winner. Watch this. And by the way, don't ask me how to make this card. I've made one of these a long time ago. This is a gift card holder as well. Shannon was, I mean, Robin, <laughs> they're friends. Robin was the winner. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, and when you participate in the swap, you get back one of everybody's cards. Hey, Tammy, good morning. I was just talking about that starter kit special, $75 for $125 ends November 30th. And then check out this one. Bam. This month, our swaps were over-the-top amazing, in my opinion. Check out this one, Evelyn. I don't have know if I have names on all of these. Like, this one, I don't have a name. Um, this is Shannon's Swap. Check that out. Boom. This is the new Eden's Garden stuff you can purchase early now. <laughs> Thank you, Betsy. This is Martha's Swap. Gorgeous. I think she said this was a catalog case, which means you copied it, um, which is perfectly allowed. And then this is Dana's Swap. A waterfall card. The little pet. I know Dana loves pets. So cute. Okay, so that was my team swaps. And then, of course, um, they can take the team make and takes, which are only $11 with shipping or less if you go in person. Um, we made four poop treat boxes. <laughs> so, anyway, lots of perks there on the team stuff. Okay, I want to tell you about my classes this month. It's coming up. The in-person is next Saturday, November 20th. Um, if you take it to go and you pay for shipping, it will be mailed November 22nd. And if you just want to pick it up, it'll be ready on the 20th. There's two different deadlines depending on which classes you take. And in-person is at my house. And then I am going to, t to um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, I read that comment and got distracted. I am going to show you today what these tubs are, but if you want to check out a tub, which is this, and take those supplies home and stamp yourself for any of these classes I'm about to talk about, you will get, uh, you will get, you will need to register for the tub or to attend in person by November 18th. And then there's like a two week period to check that stuff out. So plenty of, we've never run out of spots, but if we do, I'll, you know, Look at that at the time. Okay, so does that make sense? I'm gonna tell you about all four classes. They're all offered in person. They're offered to go where you just stamp at home with your own supplies and the PDF tutorial. And they're all offered where you check out those supplies from me. What classes are they, you might ask? Card class, stamp, scrapbook class, Stamp-A-Stack, and Sampler. Card and scrapbook are $15 each, free with a $20 order. Register by November 18th. The card class is going to use Peaceful Deer, and guess what? I'm making three of the card class cards today. So you'll get to see exactly what this class is, what the tub is, and what you would make in person at home or at home with my supplies. Scrapbook class is three 12 by 12 pages for $15 free with a $20 order. And I must say I'm very impressed with myself this month. <laughs> um, you know, when you're a teacher or a Stampin' Up! demonstrator or whatever, and you are designing these classes, I think I can be hit and miss, just being honest. But these scrapbook pages, I love them. So you're going to make a two-page Christmas layout, 15 bucks, free with a $20 order. Yes, it can be taken to go. Um, you just add shipping if you need it. You can take it in person. You can take it... Um, What's the other one? In person to go check out my supplies. And then we'll make page two of our Thanksgiving layout, which we made page one of last month. Okay, so three 12 by 12 pages, 15 bucks, free with a $20 order. And look how gorgeous. Now, for all of my classes, we die cut, punch, 
emboss and cut everything we can for you. So, I mean, on, the, on these, everything's gonna be cut for you. We're gonna die cut the little label, we're gonna die cut the ornaments, etc. cetera. Um, okay, so that's scrapbook. 15, free with a $20 order. Register by November 18th for those two. Let me check these comments here. Good morning, Martha. Hey, Nancy. Okay, so Cheryl, I'm sorry, I forgot to go back. I think Cheryl is asking about this class and I did sell out of that one, if that's what you're asking about. Um, the swaps are not a class. I'm just going backwards in my head on what I talked about. So Cheryl, clarify if those two are not what I'm talking about or you're asking about. Um, okay, then the next two are different deadlines, different pricing. Okay, Cheryl, so yes, no more of those available. I sold them all, <laughs> so sorry. Um, but that is a perk, you know, if you do join my team, FYI, I don't know if you're a demonstrator already, then every month you have the opportunity, you have plenty of time to get to register for that stuff if you choose, and we always give sneak peeks and all that. It's uh, very highly discounted. Hey, G. Ann. Um... Okay, so Sampler and stamp -a stack are, they include product with your fee, so they're not free with an order, they're just a flat fee. Um, register by November 14th, this Sunday. stamp -a stack is 12 cards, so it's a stack of cards, 12 of them, four designs, three of each. This month, we're using Evergreen Elegance Bundle, and you're going to make 12, uh, three of each of these cards. Um, and you're going to get $20 in merchandise, and we're going to die cut, punch. You can see there's going to be a lot of die cutting and embossing pre-done for you. You will cut your own designer paper for these classes because you're going to get like at least a half a pack. Um, and you'll cut your specialty paper, but we cut everything else. We die cut it, we punch it, etc. We is a team, me, Landa, and Karen. I don't always cut. It depends on the month. This month, I think I'm going to have to cut because I'm offering three samplers. <laughs> um, so the first sampler, this is also, oh, sorry, let me go back. Scrapbook, a stamp -a stack can be a club as well. So you can join the club. It's $30. Take it a la carte, $30. Includes 20 in merchandise and 12 cards. Take it um, as the club, $30. So same price. You don't pay more to be in club. But after six months in club, you get $25 in free merchandise. Plus, club makes registration easy. All you have to do is register for in-person or tubs if you choose those. Otherwise, you're signed up for stamp -a stack You're on the list. I cut it for you, or I count you, and Landa cuts it for you. And um, you don't have to do anything. It's month to month. It just continues. Although, you can cancel at any time. People do cancel. That's fine. Okay, sampler, same deal, $28. You get a 12 by 12 sampler. This is the first one, Whimsical Trees. I love it. It's so shiny, it's so cute. You get 20 in merchandise. We cut, die cut, punch, everything we can for you except your designer paper, although we do die cut your designer paper if needed in whatever case that would be. Um, give you PDF tutorial. Your kits are packaged in order, so it's like from square one to square nine or however many there are. It's packaged very well. And 20 in merchandise for only $28, register by November 14th. That's the club one, so you cannot change it. If you're in club, you get that one. It's gorgeous. I picked that one because that I knew was going to be amazing, in my opinion. Um, then there are two more to choose from this month. So when you register for my classes, you can pick one, two, or three. If you're in club, you can also add these on. This is the um, sweets and treats sampler. So if you are a baker, a sweet lover, if you like cake and pie and fruit cake <laughs> and all that stuff, this one's for you. Um, it says it's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. You're going to get a memories and more pack with this one, some ribbon, you know, 20 in merch. We cut, die cut, punch, etc. It's awesome. Um, we will be using the cloche dies on that one. When you register for all of my events, you can add on the stamps and dies if you need them. Okay, they're optional. Last but not least, 
This one actually turned out to be my favorite, but I didn't know that before I designed them. Merriest Moments Sampler. It's your traditional Christmas red and green. We got velvet on here. We've got embossed velvet on here. 20 in merchandise is included. We cut, die cut, punch, etc. So I don't know why you wouldn't take all three, but no. Um, these samplers are meant to be framed art. Let me see if there's one in the camera. There is not, but I have one right here. Um, this is a past sampler, so you can frame it in a 12 by 12 shadow box. I have a link to the ones I use on my blog and in the customer email. It's from Walmart, 10 bucks. I love how thick it is. If you can see there, it's a really wide shadow box. Um, but you can use any 12 by 12 shadow box. So it makes a great gift, holiday gifts. If you're going to be um, going to holiday parties and you want to take your host a gift, um, friend gifts, family gifts, and decorate your own home with them. All three of these will make a great little, you know, display, three frames. I don't know the right word, but it will be cute in your house. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Dorothy. Good morning. Thank you, Marsha. So, sign up for those by November 14th. Join the clubs by November 14th. If you have any questions on any of this, just let me know. I worked with someone yesterday. She wanted to join Scrap Stamp a Stack Club and just take Sampler as a one-time. She made a little mistake. We fixed it. I deleted the one club. We added her. She added herself to the correct club, and I refunded. So, I can help you out any of these issues. All right. My bonus classes. Don't forget about these. Do you want counting sheet and the dies for free. Even if you already have them, this class is still worth it because you get 12, I mean, six cards, <laughs> two of each of three designs. Sorry about the glare and why can't I turn it straight? Um, super cute, cut, die cut, punch, etc. except you'll die cut your own sheep stuff due to having the dies in your, for free. The class is to go only. You stamp at home with your own stuff. Yes, Marsha, I agree. I think they would make great Christmas presents, but you give it a little before Christmas so they can use it. <laughs> but I love getting stuff like that from my team because we do a gift party. By the way, we do a Christmas party, a uh, gift exchange, handmade gift exchange, which is optional, but you can participate long distance and in person on that Christmas party. It's in DeSoto, Texas. In De it's the first weekend in December. So if you join, you can attend that. By the way, we have lunch. Uh, gift exchange. It's fun. Anyway, I got off track there. Well, point is, on those gift exchanges, I love getting whatever I get because it's always like usually something you can decorate your house with for Christmas. I, That's half of my Christmas decor now is those gifts over the years. Um, okay, counting sheet class includes 20 in merchandise, six cards, stamp set, and dies are free, and it's only $35. Even though the price is not on here, I believe it's $35. RSVP by November 21st, and it will get mailed by November 26th or ready to pick up. Um, I did use Create with Friends on this one. See the celebrate there and the other words. So you'll want to have that set as well or substitute a greeting and you can um, add that on when you register if you like. Hey Rita, good morning. And the other bonus class is the the dahlias, delicate dahlias, stamp sets free. Boom, it comes with it. And then you get um, to make four cards and receive $20 in merchandise. Again, cut, die cut, punched, ready for you to stamp and assemble. Someone asked me, she signed up for this class. She said, I don't need the set. You can just keep it, give it to someone else or if you're low. And I was like, I appreciate that, but you're going to earn it. So, you know, you could gift it if you already have this stamp set. Gift it to a friend. Um, I mean, if you really don't want me to send it, I won't. But uh, I don't mind because it comes with your class for free. All right. Christmas gift packaging class with games. We're going to play bingo at the beginning of December on December. Where is my date? 9th on a Thursday, 7 p.m. on Zoom. 6.30 p.m. on Zoom. Um, sign up by November 28th, and with your kit that I will mail you, you'll get to make some like gift packaging, gift tags and stuff with Merriest Moments Bundle, my favorite bundle from the holiday catalog. You will um, get to play bingo to win hundreds of, chance to win hundreds of dollars in prizes. Um, and 
you'll get that Zoom activity. It's a lot of fun. We get to um, visit, gather virtually. We get to, um, or people can ask me questions. We do the stamping together, which some people participate in, some just watch, and some leave at the stamping portion. So it's totally up to you. Very flexible event. Okay, something I've been forgetting to talk about on these Zoom, uh, Facebook Lives is retreats. Retreats are back. April and I, my retreat partner, are doing our retreats now in person. They're offered to go always. But um, there are two that have openings. They are in May. It's May 12th through 15th, 2022. And August 11th through 14th, 2022. They're in Temple, Texas. It's, um, I believe, almost two hours from me. Um, we've, the whole finding a location deal has been... A wonderful adventure for April and I, and we've locked on Rock and R because they have been around forever. They <laughs> aren't going anywhere, as far as we know, because places keep cancel on, canceling on us, and the hotels raise the price, so it's too expensive. Um, so it's a little drive for me. It depends on where you live. But you can fly in, you can go, uh, you, you can attend however you like. So Temple, Texas, Rockin' R Retreats, May 12th through 15th and August 11th through 14th. If you want to get information on these, the easiest way is to join the Simply Spoiled Retreats. I was blanking on the name. Simply Spoiled Retreats Facebook group, which I will put a link to in this video here on Facebook and down here on YouTube. Um, so those dates have spots available. Gian, I'm going to make a note to email or uh, message you that link, but, um, the best way is to be on my email newsletter list because I email those links directly to you. My monthly newsletter has all my links. You just have to scroll, which I know. <laughs> and then I'll, there's individual emails that go out for each event saying register for this you know, click here or whatever. Um, so let me write it down. G and bingo link. And I don't mind sending y'all the links. Of course, you're welcome. But if you want to get that stuff directly in your inbox and not miss anything, sign up for my email newsletter. There are links in the videos after they're posted. Um, and I think I was going to, oh, my VIP uh, customer group as well, GN. It's like Jennifer Cotton's VIP Stampin' Up, something to that effect, and I believe I'll have a link for that as well. Okay, so retreats, retreats. Now, our retreats include a goodie bag, they include make and takes, they include gifts, and then they include all your meals and the whole weekend, awesome, of um, crafting for you. So, any questions on that, let me know. And then the ultimate retreat is the cruise. It is on January 30th, 2022, Galveston, Texas, Liberty of the Seas. Um, it's a seven day cruise. And yes, you can still register for that. Your crafting portion, which is optional. So bring friends and family. They don't have to craft. Crafting portion includes all of your, uh, like 150 in merchandise, six classes, multiple projects, prizes, fun, uh, gifts, fun, did I mention the fun part, etc. Julie, on the retreats, there's two different prices depending on what day you go, so let me just message you as well. Um, all the pricing is over in the group. Um, Simply Spoiled Retreats Facebook group. Julie, I'm writing down your last name. <laughs> I know it, but you know, let me just read. I mean, make sure I write, spell it correctly. Okay, Julie. So, um, and remember that includes lodging, food, and a ton of fun. Okay. Um, good morning, Charlotte. And thanks, Jan. Okay. So, cruise, you can register for that. Any questions, let us know. Um, I put links in the videos as well for that. It's awesome. It's awesome. I can't wait. I haven't been on a cruise in so long because of COVID. Our last stamping cruise, of course, got canceled. Um, so January 2022, I don't see it getting canceled. I see it happening because people have been cruising. Um, last day to sign up for November Paper Pumpkin is, oh, today. So if you want the adorable 
snowman and two other treat packages with the cellophane bags and a stamp set and an ink pad and whatever else you need. Uh, you can see there's some twine in this picture, etc., to make nine treat boxes. Sign up by today. Paper Pumpkin is a monthly craft box in the mail, just like your makeup ones, your dog ones, your pet ones, your uh, Hey Lorraine, your food ones, whatever kind of snack boxes you get. This is the crafting one. Only 22 a month. If you um, what's the word? subscribe, it's only 22 plus tax. That's the cheapest way, but you can go pre-purchase on my website. If you pre-purchase today, make sure you also activate it today. You'll get a separate email to activate the subscription, the pre-paid subscription. If you subscribe, it's one step. If you go purchase it, it's two steps. Um, anyway, so just an example, last month's kit was Christmas cards. These are obviously a different colors and themes than the one, um, you know, that I'm talking about now. Okay, Cheryl, I'm looking to join Stampin' Up! Yes! Let me write you down too, Cheryl. <laughs> if I don't write this stuff down, uh, I forget. <laughs> so, I got you, Cheryl. Um, so, you get instructions. Like I said, an ink. Oh, my goodness. Ink, which can be used on all your stamps. An exclusive stamp set that you can't buy anywhere else. Embellishments, adhesive, and then all the pieces to make whatever the projects are. So... Um, paper pumpkin today is the deadline for the November kit today all right um, you can join stampin up <laughs> $75 um, that's what it says next on my list so let me point the camera down because I want to make sure you saw my email about this special that starts next week there is a an ordering special that starts next week with stampin up I have a special on top of it. I'm going to explain it all by pointing the camera down. Um, but keep in mind with ordering specials, you know, taking advantage of the starter kit gets you even more bang for your buck. So let me point this camera down. Thank you guys for sticking with me. All my talking. I mean, it's all talking, but <laughs> I have to unmirror. Okay. And clip you in. I'm going to have to, uh, fix it in a second. Okay. So, um, special, special, specials. First of all, every month I have an online ordering special. So if you place an online order with me of $25 or more with my monthly host code, you will receive a free class kit to make four cards every month. Every month I announce what stamp set I'm using. And lately I usually make a video on Facebook Live of those cards. So these are the cards for November. If you place an online order with this host code, 25 or more, you get this class kit for free. It gets mailed to you next month. If your order is 50 or more, you also get a free full accessory. Let me check my notes, which one is which. Um is I have two accessories I offer throughout the month. Okay, so right now through the 15th, 50 or more with this host code gets you a free roll of this red sheer ribbon, which is gorgeous, plus the class kit. Uh, after the 15th, it's the wonderful gems that you get free with 50. Those are two separate offers, two separate orders, and it's a limit of one class packet per person per month and a limit of one of each free accessory. So the total you can get free from me is a full class packet, a full roll of ribbon, and a full pack of wonderful gems. Everybody's different every month. We have like a list for Landa um, with gems, without gems, with ribbon, without ribbon, both, etc. It's um, very interesting for us to prepare for. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully that makes sense. This is all month. 16th, I'll post a new host code. Free, free, free. Pretty good deal. Now, in or next week, November 16th through 18th, Stampin' Up, I'm making sure we can see this, Stampin' Up has announced a big sale. 
and to me it is a big sale. We are getting 10% off of all cardstock, the white, the collections, the single colors, the 12 by 12, the shimmery white, it's all 10% off November 16th through 18th only. No exceptions. Don't go on on the 15th, it won't be on sale. Don't go on on the 19th. Ink pads, 15% off. All Stampin' Up! colors. So just the Stampin' Up! ink pads, not the Stays On, Memento, Craft White, Bursa Mart. Just our colors. Um, you know, like a pad like that. And the singles only, no collections. There's a whole thing with the collections not being available right now anyway. 15% off. So I personally, I have a ton of ink pads because I use multiples because of classes. So as a demonstrator, I'm going to go through and see which ones... I only have one or two duplicates of and make my list because I get my discount on top of these sale prices. So I'm going to get another 25% off because of my title. Okay, dies from the annual catalog, they're all going to be 20% off. There's so many dies you should get, <laughs> in my opinion, if you don't have them. Um, layering circles, stitch rectangles, playful alphabet, tasteful labels, hippo and friends, potted succulents, give it a whirl, scallop contours, and more. 20% off. Okay, so I want you to know about this special. I also want you to know that during this special, I have a separate offer from this. This does not count. If you go on and take advantage of this sale or you just want my special and order whatever you want, when your order is 50 or more with a different host code, because it ties you to my other special, this has been emailed out and it's going out about three more times during the special. Um, I'm 50 or more. I'm going to give you a free In Your Words stamp set. Totally free. I'm going to give you a free pack of the blue adhesive back gems, which I forgot to pull, but they're right here. Let's see if I have any. Let's look at my little. <laughs> oh, yeah these but a full pack they're so pretty um plus five card samples uh, they might be retired i don't know yet but five full card samples all of that mailed to you for free with a 50 dollars order 16 through 18 with this host code okay so any questions let me know but i of course want to remind you that the this is just a picture of how to put the host code in by the way which i'll show you in a second um the best way to take advantage of this special is with that $75 starter kit. Now, I can't give you my freebies because Stampin' Up! doesn't allow that if you get the starter kit. You don't get any free gifts from me other than the perks of joining my team immediately. But, um, spend $75, get the starter kit, add any of these on at the discount, or get the starter kit today, now, and then next week you can order any of this with your discount. Either way, it's a win-win. Um, so, you know, I just had to put that out there because I don't want you guys to lose out on perks and benefits that's available to everybody and there's no drawback. You don't have to take advantage of the ordering. You don't have to um, sell, of course, or teach classes or do videos or any of that. Okay, so just a reminder, either way, when you're putting in a host code, this is where it happens. After you click the little shopping bag with the little heart in it, you'll see the checkout button. Above that, you'll see add host code. That's where you add your host code. And after, if you don't see my name already, if you add a Jennifer host code, it should pull up a picture of me and my name. Okay, any questions, just let me know. Let me look on my... Hey, Diane and Margie. Thank you. I saw your comment. Yes, Marsha. Definitely. Um, Marsha knows those perks of being a demonstrator as well. And Marsha is one of my friends who isn't on my team. That's, that's okay. We're all friends as Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. Um, so you can be... Oh, April posted a link to our... our um, Facebook group, the Simply Spoiled Retreat one. If you guys scroll up to April McCright's post, I mean comment, that's a link to the Simply Spoiled Retreat group. Thank you, April. <laughs> See, we're partners. <laughs> um, I'm trying to just make sure I didn't get it, uh, miss any comments here. Facebook puts like a bunch of junk in between your comments. 
Hey, Diane. Hey, Joel. Okay, so I'm using today um, Peaceful Deer Bundle. Let me scoot this up a little. And uh, if you remember this one, we, we, every demonstrator, was using it a lot during celebration because there was some paper that was available during that time when this catalog first came out that was free, but that's gone. Also, this punch has been on not orderable for quite a little while now, but it's coming back approximately November 15th. These are always approximate dates. We can't hold Stampin' Up! to that because it depends on the whole shipping issue, but that's the approximate date. It'll be back in stock if yours is on back order or if you want to order it. So the bundle is only $36 for both, and um, the stamp set is $22, punch is $18. Okay, so that's what I'm using today, and these happen to be my card class cards for this month. Um, so, a quick commercial break of don't forget to comment, share, like, thumbs up on YouTube, all that stuff, and you'll get entered to win these three cards I'm about to make. Um, okay, so for... I'm getting my stuff gathered over here in the, behind the scenes. For card class, we usually put it in a baggie. It's packaged up much like your online ordering special card supplies for one card, then the base, supplies for a card, and then the base. And you normally get four cards. I'm only making three today, but I'll show you the fourth one. Um, so you'll see like there's some rhinestones in this packet, some ribbon, etc. And I'll show you all that. Um, now, I also want to just take advantage since I'm doing this video to show you that if you take the supplies home, this is what you'll literally pick up from my porch. This tub, the one that says card, there's also one for scrapbook, stamp a stack, sampler, and the other two samplers this month. Um, I have a reminder, it's due back by 9 a.m. the next day, repack it the same way. There's a video on how to pack it up. But this is what you see when you, oh, actually this isn't what you see. You see the instructions, which I haven't typed yet, and some other notes. And then when you pull those out, you see all this stuff, okay? These are all the supplies I need to make all four cards. This is also, of course, what will be out on my table during my in-person live class. So this is where I'm gonna pull my supplies from today. And we're gonna get started. So the first card we're gonna make is this one. So if you want these cards, it's only, don't use this host code for these cards. You do have to register for it with my class registration link. And then you um, either can place the order with that other host code or I'll PayPal invoice you for $15. When you register for it, you can add on any of the other classes you want. They're all in one link. Okay, so here are my pieces. Um, this is a... Y'all know Jennifer almost always has to do a Z fold card. So this is a Z fold. The base is pear pizzazz. It's five and a half by eight and a half. I just cut in a sheet of eight and a half by 11 and a half. I'm gonna fold it in half, supposedly. <laughs> and I've got this big tub in my way. Let me move something real quick so I can scoot it a little bit. Will allow my hands to move more freely. Okay, then for a Z fold, you just take the front and fold it all the way to the left. Just match it up with that left side and bone folder that. That's a Z fold, simple, simple. That's Jennifer's fancy fold. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mary. Mary says she loves getting the freebies and Mary used to be local, but she's not local anymore, so she misses coming in person. I miss it too, Mary. Um, okay, so we have our designer paper here. <clears throat> it's one and seven eighths by five and a fourth. That's for that left front flap. And this is the Merit uh, Heart Warming Hugs designer paper in the holiday catalog. I'll just show you real quick. It's 12 by 12. You get for 11.50, you get two of each design. And this is probably by the end of December, or if it sells out sooner, your last chance to get this paper because it did carry over from last year. Um, then we have a piece of basic white that is four by five and a fourth. So that goes right there on the inside. Of course, don't glue anything down until you've stamped. Big, big stamping tip. 
<laughs> and then we have our pre, your, your kit will be just like this. So it's gonna be pre die cut, real red scallop rectangle. And that is from 20% off next week, scallop contours dies. I use these all the time. I own two of them because of all the class cutting we do with them, or I can send it with my helpers and still have a set for me because I'm always gonna use it. They're amazing, love it. And that is the third one from the largest, that die. Um, and then the piece of white to go inside that, which is two by three and a four. And then some ribbon and rhinestones there. Okay, so for my stamping, I will stamp on these two pieces, my two basic whites. This is a portrait shaped card. You can make these Z folds be landscape. I just usually don't, but you totally can. Okay, so in my tub, of course, if you're stamping this at home, um, I recommend just take everything out. So here's the punch, the, the deer builder punch. Here's all the ink pads I'll need, real red, garden green, pear possess, soft suede, and memento black. There are some Stampin' Blends. Um, light slate, dark crumb, light crumb, color lifter. I think that's it. There's a fork. Yes, we're going to use a fork today twice. A normal size fork, like not a giant one. A paper piercing tool. I mean, this take your pick tool. There's a sample in there showing you where to stamp something. That's actually for the card we're not making today. Um, silicone craft sheet, dimensionals, mini glue dots, and all your stamps labeled with the correct colors. So, just trying to emphasize how these tubs come, basically. Um, so, I need the largest tree image that says Pear Pizzazz. I need Merry Christmas in real red. And this, uh, one of the several smaller tree images from this stamp set. And it says Pear Stamp Off. Um, let me bring this set back in real quick. There are two other tree images which we're not using today at all. And then we're using the two basically largest ones. Um, okay, so I wanna grab scratch paper. I don't know if I even need it. Well, do I? Mm, yes, I do. If you're stamping off the edges of your paper, you definitely want scratch paper under there. And if you don't have a super firm surface, this won't be in the box, but make sure you either use the Stampin' Pierce mat, it's only five bucks, under your paper. If your table is plastic, flexible, bumpy, anything like that besides super hard like a countertop type surface, um, use this under it for your photopolymer stamps and or use something under it. But mine's very firm. Okay, so I'm going to go with Pear Pizzazz for these trees. And I want to place, actually, that's not true. I want to do my greeting first. <laughs> Julie, she said that's a lot of work getting everything together. What I do normally, which I was able to this month, is as I plan the projects, I have this next to me and I put them in there as I go. I put the ink pad in there. I put the, you know, whatever tools I use. I'm like, oh, we're using dimensionals. Let me throw a sheet in there. Then it's all gathered and I didn't forget anything. Um, I label them as I go. You can just wipe this off with stays on cleaner and dry it and put a new color on there if you need to. And... Um, then I also know, okay, I've already used pear pizzazz on that class. So if I use it on another class, I need to have another pad or order one. That's of course, cause I do this full time and I do multiple classes at one time. Not everyone does that. Okay. So Merry Christmas, tap, 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 gentle, gentle, gentle. Don't press hard on the ink pad. Only touch the stamp to the pad, not the whole thing. And stamp Merry Christmas in real red down at the very bottom. Uh, for you guys who check out these tubs, no need to clean the stamps because you only are supposed to use the color I labeled it in unless you get ink all over the block or something and you want to clean that off. Okay, now tap, 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 pair of pizzazz. I like to go to the edges where there's more ink. And we're going to put a tree right in the center, basically to the top. 
um, press nice, like hold it for a few seconds to release all the ink. And then we'll stamp again to the right, just down a little bit. That's stamping off. Then I'm going to do a full strength tree to the right of that. Hanging off the edge. But now I'm going to have a stripe. You can see this one really good right down the middle. So I can't stamp again as a stamped off because I'll get half of a tree, dark and half light. So I need to, if I want another lighter one, which I do, re-ink, fully stamp off on scratch paper. Don't just touch it for a second. Fully stamp it off. And then I'll stamp this lighter one on the left hanging off the edge. So pretty. We have a little forest. There's light and dark pear pizzazz. Good to go. Um, and then my, I have to remember what I'm doing today to put these <laughs> stamps back in the right box instead of throwing them all over this room um oh the other trees yes they are going to go on the inside piece and they're gonna be down in this bottom right hand corner so they'll show but I don't want them to be the super dark green so I'm going it says stamp off I'm gonna stamp them off my scrap paper fully stamp off and then down here in the right hand corner I really struggled with what to put in that corner. I tested a few things. I don't remember what they are, but they were ugly. <laughs> a few images from the set. I tried the big tree. I didn't like it, but anyway. Um, okay, so we'll put this one together now. You do supply your own adhesive at classes, so bring your adhesive. I will place this large four by five and a fourth in the middle of the card on the inside. Because I'm finished stamping, I can glue it down, and I know I'm not, like, tying ribbon around it or anything. Same with the designer paper. Sorry, Jewel, about the internet. I did, I forgot to comment. <laughs> if anyone remembers, the last two weeks, I've had blurry videos. Hey, Brenda. Um, so... Like, uh, Betsy gave me a lot of advice about the router and all this stuff. And I told my husband, she gave me some other advice. And he was going to call at t which he still is supposed to. <laughs> but um, uh, two or three days after that live video, the last one, it literally, in the middle of the night, instantly cleared up. Because we were having slow internet here and everything. So Scott's theory is we have a like a hole or something in our lines that are behind our house and it dried out after the rain, which by the way, it's supposed to rain tonight. <sighs> um, and so once it dried out, it cleared up. So he needs to get someone out here to look at our lines. So long story short, we think that's why our internet was horrible for like a week and a half. Okay. I'm going to add the trees with Merry Christmas that I stamped flat to the real red scallop rectangle. But, um, so Ju, who said there's, Somebody said their internet was going in and out. Jewel, sometimes that's on your end. Sometimes it's on my end. It's very hard to predict. Um, okay, so now we're going to... Of course, my instructions will have some specific order, but I don't know if it'll say this. But I'm going to go ahead and attach this piece only to the left flap. I don't want any adhesive here. So I'm going to place it where I want it to be and then make sure I turn it upside down top to bottom. Instead of left to right, just flip it upside down. And that will show me where not to go past with my dimensionals. Now, technically, it's just the left half, but if you need a visual like me, you can do it this way. And I'm going to use six mini dimensionals. And now, I don't have to keep holding it there. That was just really for that first row. And then half and half. So simple. You shouldn't have any adhesive on this side because otherwise your card's going to be glued shut now. And then to finish this card off, we have two things. We have our ribbon and our rhinestones. I will add my rhinestones because I'm saving the bow for last because it's exciting. Um, take your pick tool. Put your finger on top of the rhinestone. Dig underneath it. Put your finger on top of the rhinestone and press is most important here. 
And then we're just gonna put five real. These are the red rhinestones. We're gonna put five on this middle dark tree. And then um, we'll tie a bow. So I feel like in some recent videos, customers, like people were mentioning pork bows a lot. And I was like, when I was making this, I was like, this needs a tiny bow. Let me just do a fork bow. It's been forever since I did one. Now, I've taken photos for my instructions, and I've given you some specific in those in written PDF tutorial, which is included with the class fee. There is a very specific, there's a length. Landa and I are going to cut this ribbon, and it tells you the back piece should be, I think it's three and a fourth, but we'll have to wait for those instructions to come out. From the silver to here is like three and a fourth inches. But the point is your ribbon goes around your fork, not in any of the tines, just around it. And the back piece, the one at the back, is longer than the front one. Also, you make a V. The front goes up, the back goes down. Then you do not let go with your left hand. Don't let go. Just don't. Your fingers, you shouldn't be holding it like this because now you cannot work with it. You need to hold it at the edge so that you can get ribbon and fingers in this middle section here. You take your back lower piece. It needs to be lower because it's going to come under this front ribbon. You bring it to the front. And notice also I'm not like doing a bunch of crazy twists or turning it this way it's keep it straight the whole time you bring it through this center tine which is above this other piece then from the back you go below um all those other pieces and come in through that center tine now do not let go right now with your left hand or it all falls apart and you have to start over so you have to be I don't know what the word is, but you have to be good <laughs> and you have to be careful. But if you're sitting at a table instead of standing doing a demonstration, you can put this between your knees, this fork. That will help a lot. Um, but you want to pull. And also at this point, I would slide this down to the bottom because as soon as it slides off the top, you start over, which is fine. But um, it's very easy to slide off the top. So pull it all the way to the bottom. Now I feel safe. I can let go and I'm going to tie a knot here. Now, when I tie this knot, however the strings are pointing is permanent. So, uh, and keep them flat. Don't twist, twist. Keep them flat. But I'm going to specifically, I want these to go down like a pretty little bow. I want them to come, you know, down at an angle. If I wanted them one up, one down, that's how I would direct them. If I wanted them, whatever. Now, this, I believe, is the back of the bow. You slide this off, that's the back. Look at the front of that bow. Gorgeous. I'm trying to look around and see if I have a piece of paper to put behind it, but hopefully you can see. Super cute, adorable. You can trim these tails if needed. That's how you make a fork bow. You can use any size fork you want. I'm gonna grab a glue dot from my class packet here. Um, don't unroll them, just peel back till you see one dot, fold, press into it. Um, any size fork, any size ribbon, but the wider the ribbon, the bigger the fork needs to be. So you can like start going to Dollar Tree and finding those big, cheap serving forks, spatulas, whatever. Isn't that adorable? So there's our first card, card class. And of course you'll have a clear envelope, which will protect your card. You can also deliver it this way, mail it, etc. Okay. <laughs> hey, Uncle Bob. <laughs> um, thank you, Gianne. Uh, Marsha likes fork bows. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, good. Uh, J Janet says her connection is good today. I was worried because last night it got slow when I was doing some work and I was like, if this starts again, I'm going to flip out. <laughs> anyway. Um, the internet stuff. Okay, so there's our first card. No deer on that one, by the way. All the other ones have deer. Okay, next card. Basic white card base. 
five and a half by eight and a half. We're just gonna fold it in half. That was that one was the only fun fold. I was actually gonna make a gift card holder and I got distracted and made whatever my last card I made was. And then it was too late. So we didn't do a gift card holder. Um, so basic white card base. Then we have, there's one little rhinestone in here. Be careful, don't lose it. It's right there. It's gonna be in there guaranteed. <laughs> but if you slide these out and fling stuff, it, you might lose it. Um, real red four by five and a fourth. And it's been embossed with the Wintry embossing folder. The one that is, that you get two, um, and it's three and a half inches wide. So you get the snowflakes and the greenery, the pine needles. So the pine needles will go on the right. This is a portrait style card and the unembossed section will go on the left. Then a two inches by five and a fourth designer paper for the left here. This one is, I'm trying to remember the name, Christmas, Painted Christmas. I've only typed it like 20 times in the last couple of days, so I should remember. There's the one we used. Then these are the other designs. Painted Christmas is a really pretty Christmas paper. It's got pine cones. It goes with a whole suite of products that I've shown before. Um, you get, it's $11.50 for 12 sheets, two of each. Look at those. Oh. And of course I'm using just the colors from these designer papers to make my card because everything was stamping up, patches, and coordinates. Okay, then we have basic white. This is a scrap for a deer I'm gonna stamp. Then I have a one by four basic white to go across the middle. Then I have a piece of Blushing Bride. It's been punched with the Label Me Lovely punch. <laughs> Trying to turn it where there's no reflection on there. Label Me Lovely, we'll pre-punch that for you. Then we will pre-emboss it with the checks and dots folders. So same thing, there are two folders. One has checks, one has dots. We'll use the dot one for you. Pre-do that for you. Um, and that's Blushing Bride, like I said. And then there's ribbon, different ribbon. We're doing something different on this one. And one red rhinestone, don't lose it. Okay, so for my stamping, pretty simple here. We're going to add a greeting on this white one inch strip on the right side of it. I keep forgetting that my stamps are not where I normally keep them. They're over here in this tub. So this says, wishing you a wonderful year and friendships dear. So that'll be real red. By the way, this is one of my old real red pads because I have so many classes this month and I used a lot of red because it's Christmas. So, I have newer pads, like newer body styles, but they are in other tubs already. Okay, so I want this pretty much all the way to the right. The set is photopolymer, so it's pretty easy to do that. And then my deer is gonna be red as well. And this is the deer, there's two that match the punch. This is the one that says, oh, what fun within the deer. So it's a solid deer with pieces etched out. So on this scrap piece, stamp it over to the right, or at least this is what I like to do. Stamp the image to the right, and then I'll have something to hold onto on the left side when I place it inside my punch and squeeze. So of course you wanna get it aligned, how it looks good to you. Um, which there's a lot of parts to look at, so don't just go quickly. Really get it aligned. Then you can hold it in place without punching. Move over to two hands. I like to flip these kind of upside down so that all the excess pieces don't fly at me and or go back down in my punch. And there you go. Super simple. And then put it together. Okay, so this card, we're not putting ribbon around the red piece, so let me attach my designer paper over on the left, but it's it has a red border on the three sides. So see how I'm not letting my paper really touch down yet? And I'm uh, positioning it, and now I can press. 
And then next, the next piece is the greeting piece. It basically goes across the center. If you're a little high or low, that is perfectly fine. And it's flat, everything's flat so far. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my card base now. My stamp and seal, you don't need very much of that. And then, so a quick story about stamp and seal at my team meeting when Shannon showed us that awesome card that I showed you guys earlier. She demonstrated how to make this card and she knows it's a demonstrator meeting, use all Stampin' Up. So she bought herself some Stampin' Seal and she had never used it before. <laughs> and she was like, I tried to use this earlier. I don't like it. <laughs> it's difficult. And I said, well, you know, it just has a learning curve. <laughs> Let me show you. So I showed her what to do, which is, um, which one's getting glued flat. I'm going to put adhesive on the back of this label at the top left and bottom right corners for my ribbon. So I'll do that. So it's just, you know, hold it up higher. Don't hold it super flat to the table. And then when you pull, break it really quickly. Anyway, so I showed her multiple times. She practiced it multiple times. And then when she actually did the video, she was like, first of all, she was like, this adhesive is so sticky. Why am I not using this all the time? And then she mentioned how she got a lesson during the video. So pretty cool. I think Shannon's here watching today too. Um, so it does have a learning curve, but once you use it, you get more on it than you did with our old one. It's quieter. It's stickier. It's amazing. I love it. So anyway, okay. So I put adhesive top left, bottom right corner on the back of my label punch. And you're gonna have two pieces of ribbon in your packet. One end is cut straight, supposedly, and one's cut at an angle. And you basically just make a little ribbon, right? I don't know what the, this is called, but you fold the ribbon back and forth. And you want the pointy edge sticking out and the flat edge will be at the bottom. And then you stick that I do it from the front, I stick it to my label, if that makes sense. If there's any parts that are sticking up, like because they didn't stick to the adhesive, you can either add more adhesive or go ahead and secure it down with a dimensional or two. Either way works because you're going to use dimensionals on this. Now for the second one, the other opposite side, it's the same deal but I just like to make them opposite. So, well, they're actually technically the same where the ribbon's coming off to the left here, but when I put it on this side, it'll be coming out to the right, the, the loose one. Hope that makes sense. The good thing is if you don't like how it looks, which see that didn't stick, but if you don't like how it looks, rip it off and do it again. Um, so this is actually a really easy technique doing it this way versus just taking a giant piece of ribbon and going back and forth saves you a ton of ribbon. You don't use as much this way. I peeled off the top only from that dimensional. Okay, so I secured my ribbon down with dimensionals. I'm going to add a couple more to balance this out and I think I want one more on this ribbon just cuz so there we go way more than I normally use and then this piece will go across this white piece here Whew, so many dimensionals can't take it <laughs> um, so this on this punch this piece here is actually one inch wide so you can align that with the one inch white, but then you can bring it over to the right a little bit so that it crosses over the designer paper. Hopefully that makes sense. But you can align this so it'll look, it won't look weird because it's the same width. If you're a little high or a little low, it might look weird. Okay, let me check these comments. 
Hey, Della in North Dakota. Glad you're here. Hey, Kathy. No problem. Linda's saving for later. Hey, Vivi. Thanks for sharing. And thank you, Marcia. Julie says no freezing today. Ugh. Okay, Mary, you'll have to watch replay. I am going to make another fork bow, but I'll do it faster just because everybody's seen it already. So you'll want to watch the first one for the slow mode details. I also have a video. It was one of my very first Stampin' Up! videos I literally ever posted on YouTube on how to make a fork bow. It's like a four minute video. That's all it is, is how to make a fork bow. Okay, so I added three dimensionals to my dear mini dimensionals. I'll put her, no, maybe it's a him. I don't know, on at an angle because I'm gonna put a red nose, so I think that's a boy. Um, and then that one rhinestone will be the little red nose. There's something sticky on my table right there. And that is it. That is your second card. Also card class this month. 15, free with a $20 order, four cards, registered by <laughs> November 18th, and <clears throat> where's my envelope, and um, I don't know what the and is, but yeah, now my team gets these PDF tutorials free for all four of the classes, card, scrapbook, sampler, stamp stack, I'll give them the two bonus samplers this month, um, so if you're in my team, you get the PDF tutorials free over on our Facebook group. Um, anyway, that was a side note, but uh, there is a PDF tutorial included with your class fee as well. Okay, the last one I'm making today, and then I'll show you the other card, which is, I think, gorgeous. I just decided to only make three today for time's sake. Um, but this one is so pretty. It was inspired by a card I saw online. Um, it has a basic white card base. Let's go ahead and get that out of our way. By the way, I don't provide the bone folder or scissors either, so you need to supply those. Everybody has those, so bone folder and scissors if you're doing the tub or in person. And then in our packet, we have a piece of basic black, four by five and a fourth. Then a piece of this gorgeous, peaceful place designer paper, three and three-fourths by five. So that's this one. It's a specialty. It has silver foil, so it's $15 for the um, 12 sheets, two of each design. It's all gray and silver. That's it. Gray and silver. Gorgeous. There's a whole suite, of course, that goes with this one as well. I think I oh, no. Look at that. Hopefully you can see the silver is only on one side, just the foil. Okay, so this is actually from this piece here. So we'll get three across and three across when we cut it for you. Um, and then a scrap of basic white, a piece of white glittered organdy ribbon, a pre-punched one half inch strip of black glittered paper and a pre-punched basic white oval. Those two punches, here's our oval punch. Um, oh, I should have a black oval in there. I think I just forgot it. Yeah, I did. Because we're gonna do this for you. <laughs> we will pre-punch this from your base piece. I prepared this kit, not Landa. Um, we will keep this one for later, but you'll get this piece. But we're going to punch it from your black there. Um, so that's the oval. And then I used this tailored tag punch to punch, and which will pre-do for you the ends, each end of this black glitter paper. Okay, so stamping. This one is the greeting will be in Memento Black. I guess we're not doing the coloring today, mm, but I do wanna show you a tip. Maybe I can just show you that tip real quick on the last card. Didn't think about that. Um, I'm looking for my stamps. Let my brain work. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this tip on the other card with this little rabbit. Um, I need Oh, it is this card. Oh my goodness, y'all. Excuse me. Ignore Jennifer's brain. 
Okay. Never mind. My, this is the coloring card. This is the one. Um, I'm looking for the greeting. Sending love and peace this season. Such a cute font and style of font. It's going to fit perfectly in this white oval. So, since it's clear, you know, see-through, we can place that pretty well. And then the deer, I remember now. So, the deer, um, we're using the other deer that fits the punch. It's the open one that you can color in. We are stamping it in Memento Black. how I did this with the punching because we have the rabbit also I think it's fine so I'm gonna try mm, let me look yeah yeah it's fine so deer to the right rabbit to the left I've only made this card one time so far <laughs> um, and that's all our stamping then we're gonna color these in and punch out the deer you can punch and then color or vice versa up to you I would probably recommend um, color first because then you don't have to hold on to that little piece of paper. I'm going to grab my readers. It's very hot in here today. I'm going to turn my fan on. The weather. Okay. The weather, um, you know, is tricking us here in Texas. We It gets cool for like a couple of days and I'm like, yes, sweatshirts. And then it's hot again. Okay, so all I'm using to color these in are Crumb Cake Light and Dark, Light Smoky Slate, and the Color Lifter. So for my deer, I'm going to go in first with the Dark Crumb Cake and add um, dark where I think there should be shadows. Now with my Crumb Cake for, I don't know if it's just mine or not. But I feel like I need to work quickly on the blending portion. So as soon as I add this dark, I'm going to open up my light and start adding the light. Just remember to put your lids back on your blends before you move on. They dry out really quickly. So I'm adding shadows where there's like body overlap, <laughs> a leg, you know, a, a fold in the body. Okay. And then you just go over the whole thing with light and if your little areas aren't blending out like they're still really dark just keep going over it with this light one because it will eventually smooth out it'll still be darker in that spot but it won't be like a blotch and that's what Stampin' Blends do they blend they're alcohol based the ink pad is water based that memento you do want to use water based ink with your Stampin' Blends, um, but for whatever reason, my crumb cake blends a little better if I work a little quickly there. And I hopefully, hopefully my voice didn't go low. I forget if I put my face too low when I'm coloring, my voice goes low <laughs> on the video. Like I get too far away from the microphone. I bring this a little closer to me um, of course, I would color this better if I weren't far away from it physically. I traced the outline of the ear with this light crumb cake, but I left the inside a little bit white. It's just a little, like whatever's left there. And there's kind of a light section here in the middle, so again, I can just keep blending until it looks good to me. Um, I'm using the bullet point. There is also a brush tip. Mine go dry really quickly due to so many class usages. So that's already starting to dry out. So if you're taking this in person using Jennifer stuff, use the bullet point. See, there's a skinny line and a thick line and a brush picture and a bu bullet point picture. That tells you which end is which. Okay, so there we go. Now with the bunny rabbit, I wanted it gray, but I wanted it light gray. And um, it, this is the light smoky slate and it still was kind of dark to me. So what I'm gonna do is color the rabbit in. 
fully. And then uh, just with the bullet point, no blending on this one. Light smoky slate. And then I took my color lifter, which can remove color or lighten. And I took the brush tip and I laid it on its side and I just colored the whole thing for a little bit. Now you can over color lift and it's not good, but I do want this pretty light. It's gonna lighten as we go and you'll see how it looks in my other sample. Like, don't expect it to lighten to the point you want while you're doing that, you're gonna ruin it. So, it'll lighten, lighten. And it did get a little mottled, I think. Like, you can kind of see it there. It almost looks like dots. I mean, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I can see it now. Um, I just went with that. So, hopefully all this makes sense. Or you can have a dark gray bunny or leave it white. Now, we do have to hand cut the bunny out. Yay! <laughs> but we get to punch this deer. And then we'll hand cut this little bunny. And scissors, remember, provide your own. Um, make, open your scissors wide and cut as long as you can and turn your paper with your other hand instead of your cutting hand. Or don't turn your scissors, turn the paper. If that makes sense. So I'm using my left hand to turn the paper and I'm trying to cut for as long as I can without opening the scissors back up, which long is like seconds, but hopefully you know what I mean. Also, when you do the blender, uh, sorry, the color lifter the way I did, the color will go outside of the lines a little bit, perfectly fine with me. It would be cute if we had a little cotton tail to put on there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay, so let's put this card together. My designer paper will be flat. Let's see who's still here. Blushing bride tag is unexpected. Thank you, Janet. What I did on that, I got out the designer paper because y'all know on the back it lists all the colors. And I was like, what color is that? Well, it's not listed. But if you put them side by side, that's definitely Blushing Bride. So that's, I was trying to match that lighter berry in the Painted Christmas. Um, so I'm glad you like that, but that's where it came from. Okay, so I'm going to attach my designer paper to the black. And then again, nothing's getting wrapped around this. So I can go ahead and feel free to attach it to my card base. Get it positioned where I want before I actually start pressing. Now for the greeting, what I did was I placed adhesive on the back of the black glimmer glitter strip, which this paper is, I think, back ordered right now. Um, but it's coming back, the black glittered paper. Okay, so that I placed the black glitter strip flat onto the black scalloped oval. Then I'll use dimensionals on my greeting, the white one. And so I'm going to use four because it's, I don't want it to only stick to this glitter paper. I want it to stick. Normally I would just use a couple, but I'm going to use four. Just depends on what I'm sticking it to for a piece this size as to how many I use. Um, I want it on this lighter paper so I can see what I'm doing. So there's our greeting there. And then this entire greeting is going to go on dimensionals as well. And I'll do four again. Um, so that's gonna go there. And then my deer will be on dimensionals. So again, I'm using three for the deer. And then my rabbit is gonna be flat. So I'm just gonna place the rabbit down here in the bottom left-hand corner to kind of help me figure out all of my alignment. And then I'll attach that rabbit. So my greeting just kind of goes in the center of the top portion. 
And then grab this silicone craft sheet that'll be in the tub. It's a lot, the rabbit's a lot darker on the back <laughs> than the front. And he or she just goes down there in the left-hand corner. I mean, right-hand corner. Now, finish this card off. We need a bow. Let's do a fork bow again. Rewind. Watch the red fork bow, which gives you slow motion, step-by-step step, how to do this. But once you learn how to do it, it can be something you can do very quickly, as you see now. So I want you to see it's not always three minutes to make a bow. Super quick and easy. Why don't I do fork bows more often? I don't know. <laughs> and then I'll glue dot that on. Of course, you can trim the edges if they're uneven or you uh, just, if they're too long. And that bow is for my deer. That's the white glittered organdy. I think it definitely needs to be trimmed down because let's make it just a little bit more to scale for the deer. By the way, paper snips are back in stock. They were on back order for a long time. They're back in stock. Look at that. So cute. To me, anyway. <laughs> so, reminder, this is my card class for the month. I was also giving you a demonstration of how the product uh, projects tubs are packed up. If you check that out from my house, you can stamp at home with your own supplies. You can... Um, Come to class in person, all that stuff. So you'll get your clear envelopes. I'll be posting pictures of all of these in full, these three that I just made on my blog today. But the PDF tutorial comes with the class. And um, this is the card class for this month. So let me show you the other card we're gonna make. It's this one here. We're using some gold shimmer paper, a gold. This is just a regular bow. I did not use a fork for that one. Um, we stamped the two deer directly on there and colored them in with those crumb cake blends, same coloring I did here. But stamp, let's celebrate first, then stamp the ground, then stamp your deer. Those punched out antlers. This is how um, my instructions will tell you to stamp those two images. To be able to punch them out the punch i don't know why i mean i'm sure it was to fit it on here but you can't just stamp the antlers and punch both out at one time they're separate but <laughs> so that's how you can stamp them to get this one from this side and this one from that side so anyway um this is card class for the month 15 dollars free with a 20 dollar order or you don't want to take card class you're a demonstrator you're a savvy person I just gave you a tutorial for all of them, so please feel free to copy, of course. Thank you, Della. Thanks, Marsha. <laughs> Thanks, Jean and Mary. D uh, Laura, I think, is saying this one's her favorite. I do agree. I really like the tree one, how it turned out. That was a struggle, too. I went through a whole process of many versions of that card. <laughs> um, Thanks, Jackie. Um, Margie says, elegant. Thank you, Julie. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Betsy. Yes, fork bows can be addictive. You'll start going through your house and finding all the different sizes of forks you have. Like, it's a whole thing. Um, <coughs> Laura, ooh, <coughs> I coughed and shook the whole table. Laura likes the Peaceful Place designer paper, definitely. And <laughs> Marsha Need Punch. Put it on your list, Marsha. <laughs> Cool. Well, I'm glad you guys liked it or and or I hope you did. Don't forget to um, give me a comment, give me a like, share, subscribe over on YouTube, all that stuff. And y'all have a great day. I'm super excited for tomorrow, especially tomorrow evening when I get to see the new catalogs online because I participated in the online event with Stampin' Up. I have my notes here of who all asked for what during this video so if i mess anything up just message me and say you know you were supposed to send me this or whatever all right Ooh, marcia okay well i can tell you how to register for that one marcia um 
Yes, fork bows make perfect bows. Literally, it's a perfect bow. You can't, I mean, you, I guess you could mess it up. Keep it straight, keep it flat, but you can't really mess up a fork bow like we can these other kind. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much. Thanks, Landa. I will see y'all. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, Diane. All right, everybody, have a good one. I'll see y'all later. Happy Thanksgiving, even though I think I'll see you before Thanksgiving. It's coming. All right, bye.